We're going to some stone forts. We're at the ring fort now. It's just a side car safety. There's another one over there. See it in the distance. And there's a castle in here. I think it might be on a beach, but I could be completely wrong. The castle. This is what it was used for. So we are just coming down from the fort and Jibbles, as their name tag says, started to chase us, decided they wanted to be our friend. So we were just over there at Flinch Island, but there wasn't anything to do there. So we said we'd go to the Kerry Cliffs, but then the entrance was closed, so we couldn't go there. So then we just drove up the side of a mountain. I have no clue where it is. But it's somewhere near Port McGee anyway. So the sauna is open today. It's literally just inside by the jacuzzi. So this is included in the price as well as the jacuzzi. So it is well worth the price coming here. Like we have paid less than 200 for hotels for two nights. And we've paid actually less for four nights for hotels. Haven't we? London was only London was only like one I can't remember exactly the price, but it was under 200 euro anyway for four nights. Uh, but this is like a different experience and it's definitely well worth coming to uh, but as I said there's not much to do around here but like you get to relax the whole time and like you could come out early the first day then do things on that day do things the next day and then the day you're meant to leave you could like travel that day too but we just have to get back into town early tomorrow, so we can't do that. But that's what we usually do. We kind of make it a three-day thing. Who's Dora and who's Boot? I'm Dora. No, I'm Dora. French. I'm French. I'm here. And I'm Pen. <laughs> See? I'm Dora. Yeah. Hi, Dora. So we're going to a beach kind of place. It's down this way from the house. And you turn left down here. And we're going to go through a cave too. Exciting times ahead. <laughs> so you know you're going the right way if you pass this house. I think it's a hostel. So this is the cave you can walk through and you just come out like the other side. Back down there. Um, I'll have to turn this off because I need a flashlight and they wouldn't come with me this time. They came last time. So. A helicopter probably going dumping water on the fires in the Killarney National Park. So this is the little beach off into the left from the footpath in the woods by Muckrit. It's about a half an hour walk from the actual house itself. So we're just walking back to the car now from the beach, the little beach. Um, the car is at Muckers and we're going to go out to Ladies View, which is, is it 17 kilometers outside Killarney? I, so. I, I think it's 17 kilometers. Um, now we're, are we going to Ross Castle? I don't mind. And Tark, we're going to go to Tark. 
Um, and then we're going to go to the beach. Out to Banna. After Clarny. Another beautiful place to go out in Clarny is the National Park. Ross Castle is in the park. Um, but we're not going to walk through the park today. We walked through it a few times recently. But I didn't have my camera with me. Um, but it's really nice. The crepe house out here in Clarny do lovely crepes. Cafe du Parc um, under the plaza do lovely hot chocolates and they do lovely um, Nutella cookies. So that's worth the visit. And there's another place, a waffle house. What's yeah. it called again? SWR. Or is it? But Shake it's... Walk Row. Yeah. Oh yeah. We haven't tried there yet but the waffles that I've seen look very nice. So that would be worth the visit. Like these are just ideas of places and things to do that are open at the moment that you can actually go to. But there's obviously a lot more to do out here. Um, one thing I really want to do out here is um, the escape room. That would be interesting and fun. Would you like to do the escape room? Who do you think would be the best? Edit. Oh yeah, so if you walk to the right around the house and follow the footpath, you eventually end up at Tor. But we're um, not doing that, we just did 13,000 steps, so oh, yeah. we're going to drive to Tor and to Ross Castle and to Ladies View. So we're at Ladies View now, and this is why it's called Ladies View. Because the Queen's ladies in waiting really liked it basically. And they were here in 1861, and ladies in waiting is just a fancy way of saying personal servants. Queen Victoria's ladies in waiting. So if you keep following the road um, after Ladies View, you'll eventually end up in Kenmer. So we're just at Tark now, so there are the different trail walks you can do and how long they take. If you do go to Ladies View, just be careful on the road because it's very windy. Um, something else to do out here is Cardiac Hill, which is a very tough walk, which we will not be doing today. So we're at Tark now. I was here recently with other friends and they went all the way into the back. They said there's a little section where you can like jump in and swim. But they, I don't know, I can't remember how deep they said it was. They went over there onto the rock so at the very back. I got around into the middle. I'm very clumsy though so there was no way I, I was going any further because knowing my luck I would have fell in. I actually fell there. <laughs> into the water but it was just my shoe obviously um, but the rocks are slippery as well and I don't even know if you're allowed to do that but they did and I did but I wasn't going in any further I wasn't going in any further than here So now we're at Ross Castle in Killarney. Last time we were here we brought a picnic and had a picnic here on the grass, which is a great idea. Under normal circumstances, you can do a tour of the castle, which we will definitely be doing in the near future. We'll also be doing a tour of Muckers, because I have found out that Lauren has never done a tour of Muckers in all the times that we've been out there. You can also do lake tours on the water buses that you'll see here in a minute which is another great idea to do on a day out in Killarney to pass away the day. We have done these in other countries and I definitely recommend doing it once. Thank you to everyone for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you to everyone for watching my previous videos. My Instagram is jays underscore exploring and my Facebook username is jays exploring 20. Part 3 of things to do in Kerry is coming soon. I've already posted ideas of things to do in Kerry on my other social media pages. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.